Hey guys, what is up? My name is Eric, also known as Aviator, coming at you live once again from my home here in Central Florida. Now today, I'm bringing you all a very special video. This is Airmail with Aviator, episode number two, and I'm pretty stoked about it. It's kind of tough still for me to get the idea of replying to these kind of personal, intimate messages in public or in mass, but I feel like it's a good way for me to share my information or my thoughts on things the best way possible. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll take some time to leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the video. I am playing Firing Range Domination in the background and I actually would love to have your airmail questions so if you have any questions for me don't hesitate to drop me a message here on YouTube just put airmail in the subject and I'll look forward to hopefully answering as many of them as I can in the future so that's it for me guys I'll look forward to catching up with you soon and if I say look forward one more time you can punch me in the face I'll see you all later <laughs> bye bye all right, guys, welcome. I want to bring you our very first piece of airmail this week. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will pick up the very last few sentences, which actually made my heart sing just a little bit. This user says, but yeah, I love your videos. You are my favorite commentary. Now I love Music Mondays. I told my girlfriend about Peter Katz and she liked his songs. So we made out. Thanks. That was my first kiss. Oh, yeah. And I'm definitely going to subscribe with the new account, too. Not sure what the last bit there means, but uh, hey, if Music Monday can get you your first kiss, I want to hear about it, and really any kind of success like that. Don't hesitate to send me any kind of message like that. It's really cool for me, and I look forward to hearing from more of you if you're having your first kiss based upon one of the artists that I recommended. All right, next piece of mail. Eric, I'm 16 and currently extremely depressed. Everything in life is perfectly fine. I have an amazing girlfriend, and I have great friends. This depression randomly started, and now I cry at little things. It's a little extreme, but it's the truth. My question is, how do you deal with depression? Like I said, it's just randomly started, and I keep thinking the worst of everything. Thank you so much for your help. While I've never been diagnosed as clinically depressed myself, like many Americans and people around the world, in fact, I have been affected by it intimately. Women I've dated, along with family members and friends, have all been depressed. It's a fairly common thing these days. The thing to keep in mind at 16 years old is that many things in your body, in fact, most things in your body are changing so incredibly rapidly. Even once you've kind of grown past your growth spurts, your body is still adapting, your brain chemistry is changing, and your hormones are, as they say, absolutely raging. It's incredible how many changes happen through puberty and on through until, about, until you're about 20 years old. Just absolutely nuts. So if you're feeling depressed or down, just kind of strangely and out of the blue with something you, you really never experienced before, if you don't have any background for it or reason for it, don't be dismayed. Don't be worried. I, I really truly believe that a majority of issues like this pretty much work their way out of your system by the time you're through college. All I can encourage you on personally is to try to look at the brighter side of life and try to find ways to see the joy in things. Because even though I've not always had the easiest life, I've done all that I can even through the tough times to look at the happier side. Not to look at what has brought me through, but to look at what it's brought me to, because the end result, the joy in life is so much more important. And uh, it's kind of a tough question to answer, but I hope that this answer helps you a bit. And I hope that you're able to start looking at your body as the implement that it is, and that if it's changing, it's okay. It may not be your actual brain, it's just your hormones talking, and uh, that you can always look past those, that you can always do what you want to, do what you can to make it better. So hope that helps. And on to the next piece of mail. Oh man, I love messages like this. They just make me truly happy. It's really a lot of fun. So this guy says, hey, I'm a great fan of your videos and I especially like how you're a pilot. I really want to be just like you when I'm older. I love photography and planes. My dad is a 747 captain and he takes me flying a lot. Whenever I go flying, I make sure I take my camera and I started doing this ever since I found your videos. Keep up the great work. P.S. What is the favorite plane you've flown slash been in? Mine's the Beechcraft King Air 350. Well, uh, first off, the first part, I am honored. I hope that you aspire to be like your dad because it sounds like he is a straight up boss. My uncle actually used to fly the 747-400 for United and he did that for like 20 years flying to Hong Kong and just amazing places. I always wanted to be like him. So very cool stuff there. Secondarily, as far as what my favorite plane is, I have to say that my favorite plane is probably the Titan Tornado. It's not the best plane I've been in. It's not the greatest plane I've been in, but something about it has just left its mark in my heart, probably because it was the first plane I ever soloed. So it's the first one I ever flew by myself. And I just had this love affair with it. Here's a picture of it, you guys can see. It's, it's lovely, it's happy times. And uh, as always, Thanks for sending in your little piece of airmail. I do appreciate it. Air hey Eric, I'm currently a junior in high school. Recently I've been questioning if I was really good or special at anything. I've always been average when it comes to school, sports, girls, friends, and even COD. Also, my parents are not very supportive or encouraging at things I try. 
Going into college soon, I'm afraid of not knowing what to do. I was wondering if you went through anything like this and if you could help me out. If you could reply or even answer this on airmail, if you think others are facing this issue, that would be great. Thanks, Dan. Well, Dan, I've actually watched one of my friends go through, through something very similar, even on into his adult life with parents who really were not that supportive and friends who weren't either. And something that I was able to see that really helped change and model his life was finding a mentor or someone that he looked up to that helped drive him toward what he was passionate about. While it's not always the easiest thing to do, Going out and finding people who are currently doing what it is that you want to do, people who are what you are inspired to be, are the people you should be spending time with. If your parents aren't inspiring you, if your parents aren't encouraging you, if your parents aren't those people that they really should be to help drive you in the right direction, look for it elsewhere. Find people who have gone through what you're going through now. It's not that hard. If, if you want to be powerful in any industry, you can always find people who love that industry. They love that part of life. And you can latch on to what they're doing just by telling them your story and find out if they'd be willing to help you. That's what I've done in many areas of my life and I've encouraged so many others to do as well. Just find someone who's doing what you want to do and learn from them. Grow with them. Ask them for advice. It's amazing what having that figure in your life can do for you. So best of luck to you, sir. And I'll definitely look forward to hearing how your journey continues. That's it for this week's Airmail with Aviator. If you liked this episode, please leave me a comment below. Feel free to add your own questions either in the comments or preferably via message here on YouTube. Guys, I really do appreciate all of you spending your time here with me. It's such an honor to be in this position to talk to you guys, to answer questions, just to, I don't know, have this relationship. It's, it's a joy. So guys, thanks again. I hope you have a great day. And uh, again, I'll talk to you soon. See you later. Bye-bye.